you probably know that I developed several spreadsheets uh, with code like a task manager and uh, I also have a spreadsheet that contains a command line DLL so cmd.dll also a reg editor things like uh, that and here I want to show you another uh, spreadsheet that I developed I call it file container because it allows you to store files inside uh, the spreadsheet and then later on extract them again from the spreadsheet so let's open this okay and here on the first sheet you have the, the commands so this is a pure VBA uh, spreadsheet so the code here is just VBA there are no win API calls the first command here add file allows you to add a file to the spreadsheet so let's do that I'm going to add this executable accessing them from uh, sys internals like this and when you do that a new sheet is created named file 0001 here and uh, it contains the name of the file that you had it added and then uh, here a next dump of the content of the file eh? you can uh, recognize here 4d5a so that's mz the header uh, of an executable and here so we have uh, more than uh, 600 lines to store this executable in the spreadsheet and you go when you go back here to this sheet you see that one file was added so let me add another file this is a small uh, batch file you see the hex dump is uh, really small huh? And this one here is uh, stored in sheet file 0002 like this okay so and this is what you want to do if you want to uh, store files inside this spreadsheet so let me save this and close and now i'm going to delete the files here that i added because i'm going to extract them okay so let's open the file container again like this and now you can save the files here with the save file uh, button and here you just need to indicate the files that you want to save so to extract the files here back to disk so let me just put in an X to indicate that I want to extract both files okay so I'm going to save first access enum now because I'm going I'm using here the built-in uh, VBA commands and not the Windows API I don't have full control over this dialog and you can see that name is here access enum but not the extension not dot exe so that's something you need to type now you can look here at the title here I can include it but not here in the file name so just type that dot exe like this okay and now uh, the file is uh, saved we can have a look here you see uh, access and um, is saved here and now let's save the command dot bat file so oh, here also I need to type dot bat like this and now we can check here the executable from sys internal here runs without problem let's start the scan and then let's run the batch file here which does a ping and then pauses <laughs> 